Hi students and friends, welcome to the channel Learn and Teach by Sareas. In this video, I am going to solve the worksheets for O1, which will help them to excel better in the final exam 2023. So here is worksheet number one. When two mole, point two mole of hydrocarbon C4H10 is completely combusted, it produces carbon dioxide, CO2, and water H2O. This is the reaction equation. 2CH4H10 plus 13O2 gives 8CO2 plus 10H2O. What is the volume of carbon dioxide produced when measured at room temperature and pressure? Now, in this question, they are asking about the volume of carbon dioxide. Most of hydrocarbon C4 H10 is given. So, if we can calculate the most of carbon dioxide from the information provided, the information is 0.2 moles of hydrocarbon. We can easily calculate the volume of carbon dioxide. So, we have C4 H10 CO2. Two moles gives eight moles of. CO2. Therefore, 0.2 moles gives x moles of carbon dioxide. Do cross, you will get 2x is equal to 8 multiplied by 0.2 or x is equal to 8 multiplied by 0.2 divided by 2. So, 8 multiplied by 0.2 is equal to divided by 2 gives 0.8. So, 0.8 is the most of carbon dioxide. Now, I want to calculate the volume of carbon dioxide produced. We know that at RDP, it is 24 dm cube. At RTP, RTP means room temperature pressure. Volume of gas is 24 dm3 it is uh, this volume is for 1 mole of gas so you can write 1 mole of gas contains 24 dm3 therefore 0.8 mole contains x dm3 so you will have x is equal to 24 multiplied by 0.8 0.8 multiplied by 24, 19.2 dm cube. Answer is not given in this question. So the correct answer for this question is 19.2 dm cube. All the choices are incorrect. Number two, copper two ions react with zinc. This is a reaction. Cu two plus aqueous plus Zn solid gives Zn plus two aqueous plus Cu as solid. Which statement about this reaction is correct? Now, if you look at the charges on each of the species or reactants and products, you will find that Cu plus two is reduced to Cu because it has gained two electrons. You can write reduced. Which means Cu plus 2 is oxidizing agent. As it oxidizes Zn is reduced. What about Zn? Zn is oxidized to plus 2, which means it has lost 2 electrons. So, you can write it's, an, it's a reducing agent because it is reducing Cu plus 2 and is oxidized. Now, check all these statements. Copper 2 ions are reduced by zinc. This statement is correct because 
zinc is the reducing agent zinc is the reducing agent here as it reduces cu plus 2 so this statement is correct let's see the other statement zinc is the oxidizing agent zinc is a reducing agent so this statement is wrong zinc is reduced by copper 2 ions zinc is not reduced it is oxidized again this is wrong copper is a reducing agent no copper is the oxidizing agent i have already mentioned so all these choices are incorrect this is something learning uh, that has to do with uh, learning by heart you should know the color for ph5 uh, solution when it is tested with methyl orange indicator and thymosin indicator remember ph5 means acidic solution so what will be the color in acidic solution i am not going to talk about this you can uh, even find the answer from google okay number 4 element x forms an oxide of formula xo2 in which group of the periodic table is x likely to be formed so formula is xo2 this is x and this is o the formula is xo2 if you write the numbers on top of the element above two oxygen you have two and above x it should be one so these will be subscripts if you exchange these subscripts this one will be coming from oxygen oxygen can't have one as its oxidation state it must be having two as its oxidation state so if the oxidation state of o is two then the oxidation state of x must be four so x must be from group 4 so the answer will be c number 5 test on aqueous solution of an unknown compound p are shown in the table aqueous sodium hydroxide added green precipitate insoluble in excess giving green solution so it must be fe plus 2 the reason is that Cr plus 3 also gives green precipitate, but it is soluble in excess. Fe2 plus gives green precipitate, which is insoluble in excess, giving a green solution. Dilute nitric acid added, then aqueous barium nitrate. This is a test for the sulfate ion. So it's written white precipitate. It means it must have sulfate ion. Last one, dilute nitric acid added, then aqueous silver nitrate. This is a test for the chloride ion. No precipitate. So, Cl negative is absent. So, we'll write cross here. These two will be present. So, which ions are present in P? Fe plus 2 and SO4. So, B will be the right answer. Number 6. Which of the following ions form colored compound in an aqueous solution? This is easy. It's something which you have to learn by heart. You know that Fe plus 3 is the colored ion. It forms a colored ion in the solution. Zn2 plus does not form any colored ion in the solution. Uh, neither Ca plus 2 and Al plus 3. So the correct answer will be A. 7. Mr of CuSO4 dot X H2O is 250. What would be X? Now we want to find you want to find the value of X. You should know the AR of each element here. So Cu, it's 64. S, it's 32. Oxygen, 16. So there, uh, we have 4 oxygen here. So we'll multiply 4 by 16. You will get 64. H2O, we know the MR of H2O. It is 18. So now I'm placing all the AR. We'll have 64. 
plus 32 plus 64 plus 18 X now is equal to the MR of the whole compound is given that is 250. Now adding up these values, what you will get? 64 plus 32 plus 64, you will get 160. 160 plus 18x gives 250. Or you can write 18x is equal to 250 minus 160. Then you will get 18x is equal to 90. Now, we'll divide 18 on both sides. So, you will get 5 as a value of x. So, answer will be A for this one. 8. Dash is dissolved in water to produce acidic solution. It has a pH below 7. So, it must be acidic oxide. Hydrogen is not acidic oxide. So, this is incorrect. Ammonia is alkaline in water. Also incorrect. Calcium oxide gives alkaline solution in water. So, this is also incorrect. So, the correct answer will be D. Nitrogen dioxide when dissolved in water gives acidic solution. Number 9. Metals at the top of the reactivity series cannot be used during the preparation of salts. They are dash. React with acids only? No, this is not the reason. Highly reactive. This must be the right statement. C, less reactive. This is again wrong. T, reacts with non-metals only. This is again wrong. B is the right answer for this question. Number 10. Which of the following molecule has least MR value? Now, for this one, you have to calculate the MR value of each molecule. For fluorine, we know that AR of fluorine is 19. So, F2 will get 2 multiplied by 19. You will get 38. For O2, we will multiply 2 by 16 and you will get 32. For N2, we will multiply by 2 by 14. 14 is the AR of nitrogen. So, you will get 28. What about H2? 1 is the AR. So, you will get 2. So, D will be the right answer because hydrogen is the only one which has the least MR value. Number 11. A compound contains 77.778% by mass of iron and 22% triple 22 by mass of oxygen. What is its empirical formula? AR of oxygen and F is given. So, we will start calculating the empirical formula from this uh, data for Fe. It's 77.778. You will divide it by the AR of Fe, which is 56, you will get 77.778 divided by 56, 1.388, 1.388. For oxygen, we will divide 22.222 by 16, and we will get 2.222 divided by 16. The answer will be 1.388. Numbers are same. We will divide both these numbers because both these numbers are same and both these numbers are the least value. So, we'll get 1 is to 1 ratio. So, the answer will be A. FEO will be the correct formula for this one. Number 12. The equation for the reaction between methane, CH4 and oxygen is shown. CH4 plus XHO2 Give CO2 plus YH2O. When the equation is balanced, what is Y? Now they are asking about Y. You need to balance the equation. So I am writing the equation here. CH4 plus O2 gives CO2 plus H2O. Make a column on the right hand side for reactants and products. We have carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Start counting the number of atoms on both sides of the equation. Carbon is one on both sides. What about oxygen? Oxygen is two on the uh, reactant side. On the product side, it's two plus one, three. What about hydrogen? Hydrogen is four on the reactant side and uh, two on the product side. So both hydrogen and oxygen 
are imbalanced. So if I will write two before H2 on the product side, how do you get balance? What about oxygen? Now oxygen will become four this time. Now you can place two before O2. Y will be the value for H2O. So A will be the right, uh, right answer for this question. 13. The relative formula masses of four compounds are given. A student has a one gram sample of each compound. What which sample contains the maximum number of moles of oxygen atoms? What we, what we will do, we will calculate the number of moles of each atom. Then we will calculate the number of moles of oxygen produced by each uh, one. For Al203, I will divide 1 by 102. 1 divided by 102. I will get 0 0.009. This is the moles for Al2O3. And the number of moles uh, this molecule will produce will be uh, one mole producing three. So three moles produces three multiplied by 0 0.009. The answer will be three multiplied by 0 0.009. 0 0.027. These are the, uh, this is the number of moles for oxygen for Al2O3. For CuO, divide 1 by 80. 1 divided by 80 will get 0 0.0125. As the number of moles for CuO is 1, so you will multiply 1 by 0 0.0125. The answer is same, 0 0.0125. For H2SO4, we will divide 1 by 98, this is the MR of H2SO4, we'll get 0 0.0102. So, 1 mole of H2SO4 produces 4 contains 4 moles of O. Therefore, 0 0.0102 produces X. So you'll multiply 4 by 0 0.0102. So the answer will be 4 multiplied by 0 0.0102. 0 0.0408. The last one, HNO3, divide 1 by 63. 0 0.0158, 0 0.0158. Now here, three moles of oxygen are there. So 0 0.0158 gives three multiplied by 0 0.0158. Three multiplied by 0 0.0158. 0 0.0474. I am reading the question again for you. They are asking maximum number of moles of oxygen atom. So if you look at this, uh, these values, so all the values are low, 0 0.027, 0 0.0125, 0 0.0408, 0 0.0474. This is the only right answer. So D is the correct answer. Number 14, what would be the formula for the sulfate of Fe3 plus ion? So Fe plus 3 ion means the valency is plus 3. Sulfate ion, we know it carries minus 2. Ignore the charges. So these subscripts will be exchanged like this. 2, 3. Final formula will be Fe2SO4 whole thrice. This is polyatomic ion. So that's why I have to place bracket. So the correct answer for this question will be D. Number 15. What would be the name for GaPO4? Ga belongs to group 3. So the valency of Ga will be plus 3. Phosphate ion, we know that phosphate ion carries minus 3 charge. Numbers are same. Ignoring their charges, we'll cancel out these numbers. So these numbers will be subscripts and subscripts will be exchanged. The final formula will be GaPO4. So the name will be gallium. Phosphate. This is the right answer.
Thanks for watching. Press like and share my videos. Give comments for more videos. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon.